Hey, Ryan, you ever been skiing before? Yeah, once. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck, I was expecting you to say no, and then I was going to say, well, now you can go skiing for the first time in your life. But since you've been skiing, I guess... Uh, By Chris Pratt? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Chris Pratt made this in 1991. <laughs> this is Ski Free. It's a really old Microsoft game that came with some old, like, Microsoft Entertainment Pack. And as you can see, it's it's very dated, but you play as this little, like... Check check it out, dude. I'm doing jumps. I'm skiing, dude. skiing down the mountain. Holy shit! Yeah, so is I, it an open world game? It's a full open world game. <gasps> Whoa! I'm gonna try to go over here. I'm gonna do the the slalom. Which slalom. I think I think that means. Yeah, I gotta I gotta go around the flags. Do you see that, Ryan? Ooh! Look, I'm going around flags. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it I'm again. I'm doing it, dude. Check it out. I'm skiing. Whoa! Oh, watch out! Oh fuck, dude! I gotta watch out. I gotta go as fast as I can. Do some jumps. Do you see that shit? That was good. That was good. That was really, really. I think I'm good. gonna get 100. percent Those ski lifts make no sense to me. I can't even see the wires. Wait, I don't think I'm doing it, dude. Because no score. Well, look, I'm going past him, and it's not saying yes or no. I think I fucked it up, Ryan. Okay, uh, forget that, guys. I'm just gonna restart. All right, I'm at the yeah. top. Now what? I go on this side. I did it. There we go. Okay. Now I'm doing it, man. Look, it goes bing, green, bing, 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 bing. See that, man? Bing, bong, bing, bing. So Barry, Barry first told us about this game because he played it when he was a kid. And he, he said he that- He said it was his favorite game. Still to this day, it's his favorite game of all time. Which is kind of a little baffling to me because there's not much to it. But, you know, Barry knows more about games than I do. He just said that he, uh, the gameplay was all right, but he really liked the narrative, so- the narrative, it, it's, it's got a weird narrative regarding LGBT rights, but I don't yeah. know if we're going to get into that in this video. No, that, that would only happen like episode 21 or yeah. something. And this, this will be like a 15 part series, but we're not planning to take it past there. But there is something about this game that, fuck, I can't do it, Ryan. Fuck! What is going on? Dude, dude, to make yourself ski, like, you know. Why it's, can't you just go fast down the hill? Because it's got real skiing physics. See, like, I can't go up. When I put it to the side, I stop. Yeah. See the mouse? Because when you go skirt to the side, See that? you stop when you usually do when you ski, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Gotta go pizza, dude. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, but earlier I saw you playing it, oh, like fuck. like a few days ago, you were like, oh, let me play it. And and you were going super fast down a hill, you're like, look how far I'm getting. Well, get. I can't go that fast because I gotta go around the flags, man. Well, when can you go that fast? Right now, because I'm about to do a freestyle course. Oh shit, is this freestyle? Well... I beat that. I beat that that game, but I'm about to do a freestyle course in a minute. But for now, I'm just gonna get to the bottom of this hill. I'm just gonna go nice and fast. Look at me doing my jumps. You know what, dude? Fuck it. No, I'm going back to the top of the hill. Why? So I can do the free the freestyle. Ready? Why didn't you start with freestyle? Because I wanted to beat the slalom. I don't know how you say it. S slalom. Slal. Slalomy. Slal. I'm gonna. All right, you ready for this, Ryan? Ryan, don't look shit up, dude. You gotta watch what you gotta watch my lurk, jumps. Lurk how to pronounce. <laughs> watch this. Ready? I'm looking. You see me doing these fucking huge jumps, dude? Ready? Do the pizza! Do the pizza! I hit a fucking rock, dude! Relax! You should've pizzaed! Okay, watch. Apparently if I get underneath the ski- the ski lines... Yeah? ...which are invisible, I can go really fast. Hold on. It doesn't seem like I'm going that much faster. I got an idea, Matt. What? For a- for a live-action video. Yeah, dude. Lay what on, if... Dude. I ski down one of those black... Circle black diamond, black diamond, whatever <laughs> black diamond courses. While I'm wearing a microwave on my head and I fill it with cement, <laughs> and I have to get to the bottom, or else it'll I'll, it'll solidify and I'll suffocate and die. <laughs> okay, explain. Or, or no, even better, Matt. Okay, how about this? I do the whole microwave cement thing, but I take firefighters away from fighting legitimate fires that are going around <laughs> in California. What happened? Like. I saw on Twitter that there was a YouTuber who cemented his head inside a microwave and almost died, and firefighters had to be called to get him out. What happened? Is that literally just the story? That is the story. Why did he do it? For like, YouTube, for the views. What's the point of the video? Was he doing some kind of challenge, or was he just putting his head in a microwave and filling it with cement? He just does stuff like that. It's like the same people that are like, uh, uh, I'm sure most of them are fake. This one wasn't. See, that's that, that shows stupidity. It's like other prank people, they're stupid, but their pranks are fake. This guy legitimately is one of the dumbest ones because he actually does it. He's like, everyone else does this crazy shit, even though, like, they're all fake. It's clearly fake. Yeah. yeah. But he's like, I, I have to do it for real. I have to prove myself. <laughs> so then he goes and cements What the his... fuck, dude? I'm sorry. What? Like, what do you... What was that? Dad, did you see that? Was that a... It was a little Yeti. Was that the abominable Yeah, snowman? there was a Yeti that was chasing me. Fuck, dude. Sorry, continue your story. But, like... What do you expect when you cement your head into a microwave? Like, what do you, do you think that it's like, oh no, I'm in a microwave now. They're going to have to saw me out Do, do you think he, like, it's going to harden and he's just going to gracefully pull his head out of the fucking cement? Like, <laughs> like that, that's not how it works. 
I mean, maybe he didn't realize that his neck was scrawnier than the width of his head. Does, did and, he think his neck was bigger than the circumference of his head? Yeah, because the thing is, you know, when you cement your head into a microwave, you can't. That, there's the whole like if your head was smaller than your neck, you could easily pull it out. Yeah, one hundred percent. But it, wait, imagine someone's head that's not smaller really. than their neck. <laughs> well, that was in a uh, Men in Black two when they blow the dude's head off and then it comes Dude, back spoilers. all tiny and it and it. Well, that was in the beginning. I mean, that's spoilers, man. I haven't seen Men in Black well, two. Well, fuck, that's the best. I one, saw the third man. one in theaters though in Florida. Wow. I saw it on, in theaters in Marco Island, Florida. With Josh Brolin. With Josh Brolin. Men in Black 1, classic. Men in Black 2, what, uh, sure. Men in Black 3. I, I got some good laughs out of it. And the part, there's like a rocket taking off at the end. That was a crazy movie. Okay, Ryan. Yeah? So apparently, I'm, I'm 1,600 meters down the mountain, but apparently when I get to 2,000, that's when the abominable snowman comes out. Okay. All right? And I'm, apparently- it Comes out to play? It's really hard to outrun him, but you can. Because if I press F, it puts me on like turbo mode. Wait, really? Yeah. And Press I can F. like Okay, hold on. Wait. Okay. Okay, I'm going. I'm getting I'm going to get away from him. Fuck, dude. Is he here? Yeah, that was him. Oh, shit. There he is. Oh, 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 run, man. Run. No. run. I'm going as fast as I can. Woo! I don't like him. He's chasing. Dude, if I crash, I'm dead. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. No. Oh, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm going. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay, hold on. Where where'd he go? Oh there my god. Is, holy shit. Oh shit. No, no, no. 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 You're dead. Oh no. Do you want to try this? Dead. I don't know how to do it. You just here, try it. Look, you just okay. ski. All right, here. I'm I'm handing over the keyboard to you. Okay. All right. Click to jump. Click to do a jump. Yeah. Like that. And that's it? Yep. Th this is it? Yeah, and and then press F to like hold down F to like go faster. And you can do a jump off of those little like rainbow ramps, the tiny ones. Look at me. Look at you go, man. I'm I'm doing it. Fuck, dude. You're going fast. Dude, there's a snowboarder right behind you, man. Nothing's in my way. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, you know. <laughs> like as you're saying, <laughs> you smash right into a tree. Dude, I'm where? Where are the rainbow ramps? Uh, they're just scattered all around, dude. I it's finished. A, it's an open world game. I wanted to do free roam. You not, now you're free roaming. I don't see no fucking rainbow ramps. Just keep going around. Lion there's one right piece there. Of shit. There's one right there. I can't get to. <sighs> well, you gotta ski more carefully. Okay. Pizza, I'm, Ryan. Pizza. I'm, ah. Man, skiing's so much fun. What if I just keep going this way? Apparently, if you go far enough to the left or right, the abominable snowman appears too. Well, I'm going. There's a Where little dog. I? Apparently, if you crash into the dogs, they pee themselves too. Is he, uh, is the, is he close to coming? Uh, no. Because... Are I think, you close, I, dude? I, 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 are you close? <gasps> are you, are you gonna come? <laughs> Is Tell me when you're about to come. Did I need to. I need to close my eyes and look at look look away. I want to have sex with a girl and just ask like, "Did you come?" Like every twenty seconds, like, "Did you come? Did you come yet?" No. Oh, damn. Oh, did you come? I hit him and he. Did he pee? No, he didn't pee. What the fuck, guys? Who lied to you? Ryan, you want to take a vacation to the Gaza Strip? Okay. Oh, oh shit! Uh, yeah, but there he is. There's two of them. Oh, the run! F, F. <laughs> Fuck, dude, he just ate. Dude, you. he's rubbing his belly. He's going. Mm. <laughs> I ate him. I ate the human. Okay, so like, I don't know how to get. I don't know if this game has sound. Donate to my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on the website for this game. Hold on. Let, let's go to the website real quick. Okay. Let me show on back, the website. Giving it back to Matt. So this is the official website for Ski Free. Um, as you can tell, it's very old. But it, it talks about like the history of the game and how this guy wrote it while he worked at Microsoft and Microsoft saw it and was like, we have to have this. And uh, he wanted to call it like Winsky. Yeah. But then Microsoft, the Microsoft Marketroids hated that and decided for inscrutable marketroidial reasons to call it Ski Free. So this guy, you know, writes a little background, but he said, these are the sounds like this is the voice of the abominable snowman, which I haven't heard in the game, but he has this listed on the website. <laughs> That's just that guy was in his like in his like basement in 1991 and was like I gotta record sound effects. This is what he sounds like at dinner. He's eating like a pig. You know, that's a mean. Then they have pussy. uncensored abominable snowman porn. Yeah, it's right here. See, this is where baby snow monsters come from. He's humping a woman, dude. They're having straight up missionary style sex. Missionary position. Is that in the game? Like, do you think you can come across that? Like just accidentally just whiz by him. I feel like that's what happened because remember there were two of them. They must have been having sex and you went by him when they jumped up. Oh. Oh man, here's he interrupted the, their coitus. That's why he was so mad, dude. He had to eat you. Look at this. Here's the crappy Windows icon I made. Here's the nice icon that some graphic artist at Microsoft made. That's really good. This one's called tree. Let's go down this one. Okay. I think I just have to go on either side of the trees. 
Yeah, dude, this is testing my fucking it, my fucking scheme and ship. Is is that what it's doing? It seems like you're just going on the flags. I think it's just the flags, but there's more. Oh, there's, there's more trees, trees and yeah. shit in the way. Oh, fuck, dude. What's that thing? I hit a tree. Is that a person? Pizza? That's a skier. Yeah. That's a beginner. Man, fuck. The, I don't want to. I don't want to follow the rules. The rules are made to be broken. I uh, one time I was scheming my dad, and he was like, "Son, come on. I promise you can do this black diamond. I promise you. It's not that scary." And I really did not. I, there I was clips and shit with black diamond. It's it's not for beginners. Yeah, that's like, the, like one of the hardest. Courses. It's like legitimately dangerous for yeah. people to do. In fact, it might have been a double black diamond. I don't remember. My dad was trying to like talk me up and get me all confident. So I was like, "Okay, dad, I'll do it with you." So come I, on, son. I I get on the ski lift. We go to the very peak of the mountain, and I get off the ski lift. And there's no way down from there except down the black diamond slope. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. Uh, and I look down the slope, and I'm like, fuck, man, I'm not ready for this. But my dad's like, come on, just take it slow. So I start, I start taking it slow, you know, um, and it's so steep and it's got turns left and right and there's no barriers. The course just drops off about three feet on each side into just deep snow and trees. So I start going down it and I don't have enough hip strength to turn and stop myself. So I go really fast and I go off the edge and I crash into a pine tree and I'm like in all the snow, my skis come off and I'm, I'm like, I'm freaking out and I'm like, I got to get down the rest of this. So I'm trying to get back on the ski course and there's, there's pro skiers flying by me like, like and i'm like holy shit you know in their heads they're like god damn it what is yeah. this guy doing because i can get hit by like they could hit me and seriously hurt both of so us so your dad convinced you to become a hazard for yourself and others yes 100 <laughs> percent. and uh and what happens is i i get on and i'm like okay i'm gonna get on my butt and i'm gonna i'm gonna like go pizza and i'm gonna go down the slope so i basically like asked my way down the slope as there's pro skiers like whizzing by me at full speed. Where was your dad this whole time? Fuck, he, he already skied down the mountain, dude. He was just waiting for you. It's like, where's my son? Where's my stupid? You, like, what was going through your dad's head when he's like looking for you, and all of a sudden, like, he sees you coming down, sitting on your ass, pizzing. Like, oh, he said, oh. he, he said, "There's my stupid effeminate son." <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck, damn it. What happened? He just, he's so fast. Did he fucking eat you? Yeah. All right, I'm going to try this one more time, and okay. I, I want to go as fast as I can to get to the, uh, I just want to, I just want to, I want to see if I can outrun him one more time. And then another time I was skiing, uh, I, I actually went down a black diamond, and I was better at skiing this time, and I, and I was doing all right until a, uh, a snowboarder came out of nowhere, and I slammed right into him, and my skis came off, his snowboard came off his feet, and, uh. Did he yell at you? Uh, I don't remember. I think he was pretty upset, and I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Was it your fault? Probably. Yeah. yeah Looking okay. back, it probably was my fault because he was probably very skilled, and I was just this kid on a black diamond. I don't know. Uh, I like. I love skiing. It's super fun. And I'd like to do it more. I just uh, not a huge fan of black diamonds. Just remember the first time I went skiing. There was just this guy God going, going down one of the slopes. He was just get out of the way. Get out of the way. I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> You just screaming that? Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's that'd be so funny to witness. Cause it's just like one of those passing things where like he's gone out of my vision now. Well that was weird. Like that that's just <laughs> that's just a minor occurrence that happened in your life. Yeah. Just help! Get out of the way! I can't stop! <laughs> he was like trying which, you know, is nice because he's trying to warn everybody he that he's died, not a good man. skier. He might have died. He might have died. He could have. Fuck. See, that was me with the snowboarder. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Okay, baby. I'm going fast. I'm, I'm. Oh no! Shit! Fuck! There's no! two. No! God damn it! All right, I'm gonna try one more. He time. was my boy. <laughs> he was my son. I'm trying one more time, Ryan. Okay, that was a massive jump I just did. Cedric, <laughs> the entertainer. <laughs> Cedric, the entertainer, gets killed by Voldemort. Imagine that scene, but he's crying over Cedric, the entertainer. <laughs> okay, why is my distance going down? He was my token! You ready to see me outrun this fucking Yeti? Man, I just remembered Bernie Mac's dead. Oh, fuck, dude. Fucking, yeah, he did die, didn't I he? watched the Bernie Mac show. I watched it, too, and he talks to the TV, and he had kind of kind of had a lazy He's eye. talking to you, though. Yeah, he's like, now once you start thinking about sex, you don't stop. <laughs> I, that's like a real quote from an episode, because he was talking about his son started watching, like, he started getting interested in girls. So and I remember, that's the only line I remember from that show. He's like, now once you start thinking about sex, you don't stop. Well, I mean, once a uh, post-pubescent boy uh, gets out in the world, he has to register as a full-time rapist and sex offender. <sighs> unless he uh, unless he eats too much soy. Yeah, God damn true. it, dude! <laughs> You're, God, do you stink at this game? Yeah, man? do you want to try running from the Yeti? No, I already did. Okay, you saw well... That? You saw that win. I mean, I, I think I think we had a good time skiing. I had a great time on the slopes. How about you? Uh, well, uh, 